After the sinking of the Japanese battleship and cruiser, plans were drawn up to continue attacking the escorts as they attempted to flee the area. Also, in order to apply more pressure to the Japanese forces, Task Force 1 will sail up the slot tonight, looking for trouble, and hopefully finding it. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our War on the Sea series playing as the United States. We have six Dauntlesses here that are going in on the escort screen for the battleship we sunk in the previous episode. Unfortunately, we only have six, like I said, the rest of the Dauntlesses were shot down in previous attacks and we're already taking anti-aircraft fire. Let's uh, maneuver our flights a little out of the area. Uh, each Dauntless is carrying their full bomb load, semi-armor-piercing bombs, and unfortunately, I'm just not sure how many uh, how many bombs these guys are going to take. I think I can try to go for number six, number two, and number four here. Uh, two each, maybe. I think uh, that that may uh, be a good a good idea. So let's um, let's start forming up. Uh, I don't know why this third Dauntless always, uh, this guy keeps, uh, joining the formation. There we go. All right. Three flights of two. Looking good. All right. This should be okay, I think. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty pretty okay about this attack. Hopefully we can bag ourselves three destroyers and attack once again, sinking a few more. Just a good way to gain points, and the Japanese have so many freaking destroyers that uh, definitely going to take a little while to get through them all. So might as well sink them while we can. I think I'm going to issue my order to attack here in a bit. This flight is going to go for six. This one will go for two. Actually, this one will go for six. All right. You attack six, you attack four, and you, my friend, attack number two. Go get them. All right. Hopefully, uh, this isn't a total failure. It would be nice to sink them. But uh, on this higher difficulty... I'm playing on for the tactical battles. The enemy ships are significantly just harder to sink. They soak up a lot more damage. So uh, that that is something to consider uh, during these here attacks. And I mean, have we even sunk? I don't even think we've attacked a destroyer from the air yet uh, in this series. This, I think this may be a first. We're starting to take anti-air. They're all opening up. See all the little muzzle flashes down there. Pretty cool. All right. Light stuff's going up. And we should push over soon. There we go. Oh, brother. My magazine explosion. Crossing my fingers. You love to see it. I love to see it, for sure. Oh, we lost one. Bombs away, though. Misses. Okay, bam. Beautiful. One solid hit there. This destroyer got away unscathed, and it looks like all of our bombs missed that one there. All right, boys, it's, it's time to get out of here. They're climbing up. You can uh, try to escape. That was a direct hit there. I'm wondering how badly damaged she is. It looks like the number one turret is completely knocked out. Unfortunately, uh, report. Moderate damage, minor flooding, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, not as, uh, not the results I was really expecting. A little lackluster, but at least we knocked out a turret, I suppose. Inter interesting, what are they firing here? That's very odd. Okay, well, our Dauntlesses are out of the way. We lost one. Uh, it's at the bottom of the ocean now. What a shame. All right, let's go ahead and retreat and leave. There we go. Six aircraft, one lost. RTB. These guys are returning to base as well. And I was thinking, in an attempt to spice things up a little bit, we're going to sail Task Force 1 right up the slot tonight, uh, stir up some trouble, and come back home. Um, 
just to kind of, you know, find a Japanese task force and, uh, you know, hurt them a little bit, gain some more points so we can actually purchase a battleship. I think that will be my next purchase uh, with our command points, but I expect it's probably going to be a pretty boring day. We're going to continue to hit these guys, have some zeros coming in, that might be interesting. But um, I'll continue to hit these destroyers, I suppose. Um, it would be interesting, honestly, instead of Port Moresby, like, continuing to attack here. Like, if they went for Rental Island, I would be in a world of hurt. I mean, we have tons of troops and supply here. I mean, it would be an interesting ground war, but, like, I mean, I don't have any aircraft here. It would be much easier to land on, and, like, pushing these fleets would be disastrous. I mean, we are not in a very strong position. The only reason we're able to inflict so much damage over here is because we have a level 5 air base in Australia, and then, you know... I think it was a level four once upon a time before it was bombarded at uh, Port Moresby. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I was just thinking about that. I think Rental Island would be a fantastic objective for the AI. It would be cool if they would attack that, but uh, I guess I should be careful what I wish for. Also, this convoy all loaded up with all sorts of fuel and engineering. Half of me wants to just drop this off on Guadalcanal. You know what? I may also send Task Force 3 here. I may load troops onto them and send them up here just to give a few more troops. Looks like we are losing uh, quite a few men. Okay, well, that's the current plan. I'll let you all know what happens. Our Dauntlesses are back at it again. We are just going to attack number four here. We'll do a little bit of time compression. Only five this time because uh, they regenerate every day for those of you who are unaware. So you get a set number of aircraft at your land bases. And if you lose them in that day, you lose them uh, until the next day. Easy peasy. All right, so we're going to put the hurt on number four. All bombers attack it. Let's just blow it out of the freaking water, shall we? And uh, hopefully this attack run is a little more successful. These uh, destroyers are, you know, pretty expensive point-wise. I'm curious to see how many we'll actually get from uh, sinking one. Okay. All right. Small caliber anti-air going up. We all know the drill. I wonder if that turret's still... Yeah, that turret is still out of commission. It did inflict quite a bit of damage then. All right. Hopefully no one gets shot down. Bombs away. All right, let's get it. Okay, wow, that was, it doesn't look like we hit with any of our larger bombs, just the small stuff. There we go. That's what I like to see. All right. Dauntlesses, get the hell out of here. Okay, so we did hit them with a dud bomb. Is this some the little destroyer that could, is it still going? Let's see the report. Heavy damage, moderate flooding. No fires or anything. I am impressed. We'll wait around and see uh, how long she lasts. If uh, she's gonna go down here. Part of me thinks she won't, <laughs> which uh, I mean, she's still sailing at 17 knots. My goodness. Hmm. We'll see. Well, this destroyer has her heavy damage and moderate flooding, but she's still chugging on, so it's time to go. Thankfully, we didn't lose any aircraft that time. But yeah, I mean, ships are just so tough on this difficulty. Okay, well, RTB. We'll, uh, we'll do it again, I suppose. The, can my, yeah, we can't launch from Cooktown for a while here. I need to relaunch my scouts as well. Well, our Dauntlesses from Cooktown have arrived, all 12 of them. And uh, let's inflict some damage. I mean, if it comes down to it, if we just damage a whole lot of destroyers, that's still a win in my book. Because they have to go to port, they have to be repaired, and that gets them out of the theater. Even though there's uh, a ludicrous number uh, of destroyers. Anyway, let's see what we want to target here. 
So uh, these 12 are going to attack. I'm thinking these four. Let's make it nice and easy for us. Let's have them turn right on in. And then we have Dauntlesses from Port Moresby coming in as well to engage number four and hopefully just sink her. Um, let's see the report. Moderate damage, moderate flooding. So they got a lot of the damage under control. Let's have these Dauntlesses swing around a bit. Buy some time. Get some time compression going. All right, engage, attack. Ooh, attack, pack seven. And you know what, you attack, you attack three. Follow that attack up. If we can sink one, that would be fantastic. These guys, let's just order them to go ahead and commence the attack on number four. Because that's what we want. They are pretty far away, so these guys are going to be engaging first. Let's see, hopefully duds are minimal. All right, being shot at. And pushing over, air breaks out. Come on, give me something good. All right, bombs away. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, that's gotta freaking hurt. Only two, though. Wow. Okay, a few hits there. Duds. These guys are going in. The destroyers are going evasive. Bombs away. Not the best angle. And unfortunately, we missed. We hit number three again. A couple more bombs. All right, get the hell out of here. Other Dauntlesses are coming in. Um, yeah. I mean, just the fact that there's tiny targets, very nimble, wiggling around a lot, uh, does make it a little difficult. Let's see the report real quick. Okay, heavy damage on number three and heavy flooding. Uh, she does look rough. We lost two Dauntlesses in that. Okay, the next flight should be coming in. They're pretty far behind. I wonder, I mean, she looks, she looks rough. She looks rough, that's for sure. Wonder if she'll go down. All right. Let's use some time compression, wait for these other flights. To hit number four. Hopefully finish her off and send her to the bottom. Okay. They're going in. Not the best angle, but we're just gonna we're just gonna try it. We'll see what they can do. She's still moving extremely fast considering the amount of damage she has. I don't think we need too many more hits, however. Oh, that's <laughs> That's got to hurt. All right, more coming in. Okay, another hit. All right. Before you fly over the rest of the destroyers, break off. Get out of here. And she's on fire. That's got to do her. Let's see if these Dauntlesses can get out of here. These are some tough destroyers. Tough destroyers. Check on our other friend. She's down to... She's down to 10 knots. Look at that list. Man, she is listing extremely, <laughs> extremely to starboard there. That is, that is uh, less than ideal for them. That's for sure. Less than ideal. And so is this fire on, on all these torpedoes. That's, that's got to be a hazard for uh, your health. Uh, report critical. Okay, and critical. I think she'll sink for sure. We'll see how number three fares as well. I'll have a few Dauntless that just circle about to keep our eyes on them. Well, one destroyer ended up going down. Number three is heavily damaged, but she is still able to uh, to move a little bit. I mean, she's still listing pretty heavily, but she's not going to go down here. 
Uh, sunk. Only three command points for all of that. Is it even worth it? <laughs> okay, uh, and then we, we got this guy here. Alright, uh, retreat. Yeah, so heavy damage on one, and, uh, yeah, we sunk one. Jeez, that, that's kind of a letdown. We're up to 39 points. RTB and RTB. Thank you, thank you. We're uh, moving Task Force 1 up towards Guadalcanal. These guys are moving to take on supply at Rental Island. Well, folks, here we go. Uh, we just got to Guadalcanal and unloaded our troops from Task Force 3, and the Japanese unloaded supply here. They unloaded a lot of supply. Um, okay. We're going to have to use this fleet to unload even more troops and supply because uh, that balance of power is far too even. They have over 4,000 men on the island again. Oh, my gosh. Yikes. Okay. Now I'm not too excited about uh, forcing that engagement. These guys are going to head back. They have Chester, who is damaged. Um, and these... This task force is going to move in and see if they can find... There we go. Three destroyers, four light cruisers. I will take that engagement. Um, overcast, Sea State 4. Let's look at our formation battle line. One, two, one, two, and three are in front. Want swap, swap, three yeah that's better okay we'll rock with this uh a thousand yards apart or like I mean that's a lot of torpedoes <laughs> all right begin and start oh my god Gosh, it's so freaking dark. Well, folks, I hope you enjoy the radio show. Uh, let's bring our Kingfisher over here. Uh, as for ships, as for ships, I want everyone turn on your radar first and foremost. And these destroyers, Benham, Cummings, break, form up. Increase speed to 38 knots and move over here. Zephyrage, break. Uh, you're going to move over here. How about that? Uh, 37 knots. We'll get you out of the way so you can form up with the rest. And hopefully we can pick up the Japanese fleet. There they are. Oh boy, we are in, not in a good position at all. Unfortunately. Um, okay. Uh, don't... I did not want you to fire at will. Um, how do I turn that off? All right, auto gunnery. No, thank you. All right, begin turning. Thankfully, we are so far away. Okay, we're obviously going to go for the light cruisers first. Are they even aware of us? It doesn't seem that way. We have them on radar. How far away? 8,000 yards. Okay, begin targeting number three. Same with you, and you target number five. Work that solution up. Hold fire. Oh my gosh. Are they breaking? No, they're star shells, though. Okay. Hopefully, they keep sailing in a straight line. I'll get. Let me get my torpedoes off. Solutions 23 on number three. I hope those shells are just still. Hold fire, cease fire. Stop shooting. If they're sailing in a straight line, let's take advantage of this. All right. I, they wouldn't be... They probably probably would be a, a little concerned at this point. Their uh, random shells are raining down uh, all around them, and star shells are lighting up the sky. But um, 
But you know, what do I, what do I know? All right, uh, we're just gonna say this is another Akuma. Okay, they're firing. The, uh... All right. And they're turning. All right. Um, torpedoes. Three of them. Ten degree spread. We're going to manual, manually fire this time. Let's fire something like that. All right. Quincy begins targeting Kuma. Um, armor piercing. Fire high explosive. Fire. No. No. Don't manually fire. Fire at the target. Fire at the target. Secondaries fire. All right, Benham is lobbing her torpedoes. All right, manual fire. We'll try this. We have not had much luck with uh, firing our torpedoes uh, <laughs> the automatic way. So we'll just fire fat, fat spreads uh, towards the enemy. Big old thick spreads. Okay. And you know what? Can we clear? I'm going to turn to starboard just to kind of get out of here. All right. Louisville. Begin engaging Kuma. Fire at will. Um, shoots. High explosive. Don't manually fire. Fire. Um, shoot. Star shells. Venom. Shoot star shells at the target now. And begin targeting her, shall you? High explosive. Columbia. Yeah, go ahead and shoot AP. That's fine. We'll uh, mix it up just a little bit here. Hopefully these torpedoes start to... Yeah, they're starting to develop their spread now. Wow, they're shooting at... This ship here. Make sure we avoid hitting our own torpedoes. Alright, Cummings. Your turn to fire your torpedoes here. Manual fire. Something. It looks like they're turning into us. We'll do something like this. Alright, launchers are swinging out. Guns, fire star shells, fire over the formation. All right, get our destroyers out of here. Lots of torpedoes in the water, swimming towards the enemy. All ships are engaging. Have we gotten any hits? Doesn't look like it. They're in pretty good shape as far as I can tell. However, I think we do have an advantage. Well, we certainly have a firepower advantage, that's for damn sure, but... Uh, we should be getting consistent hits here soon. Solutions are pretty poor, however. Just, to, just due to how dark it is. I don't want to get too close, uh, mainly because of all the... I mean, every single ship here has torpedoes. And that definitely is a force multiplier. We'll see though. Look at all these though. Oh man, it would be great to actually hit something. So far, everyone's okay though. No damage yet. We'll see how this plays out. We have torpedoes closing in on this Japanese destroyer. Uh, it's possible we may hit with one. I don't know. It looks like it's just going to go after her. Oh, please. Come on, give me something, game. Throw me a bone. No! Just barely missed. What a what a shame. Thankfully, we have multiple targets in the way. This Kuma is... Oh, man, looking delicious. Looking delicious. <laughs> That's a snack right there. I hope we get a good hit there. Our ships are sailing out. We'll start making our way out of here and turn back in. Uh... I, I began targeting this uh, Japanese destroyer. I think she came in and uh, lobbed torpedoes. Uh, we have to be on the lookout for that. Look at that. Look at that. All those torpedoes coming in. And, I mean, some of these other targets. Hopefully, uh, we don't have a whole lot of duds here. 
I'm going to just start firing my torpedoes using the manual method at this point. Uh, seems like I can guess a lot better than my freaking crew. All right, don't be a dud. Got her. And she may eat two. Two. That's what I'm talking about. Fantastic. It looks like this other cruiser may eat a few torpedoes. Another seaplane tender. We'll see. Uh, explosion on an enemy ship. Okay. Not one of ours. Not one of ours. That's really what I was concerned about. Uh, I don't know. She may eat one, unfortunately. She kind of lucked out here. Yeah, they're going to miss her. Oh, what a, what a damn shame. It's okay. We still have more coming in. And, uh... I don't know. This one may eat a torpedo as well. If she's, uh, very unlucky. Like this one. That's okay. The torpedo's definitely, uh... <laughs> Uh, we're vastly more successful than I already anticipated. Like, they're they're very lucky, uh, these enemies. Another seaplane tender here. Interesting. We'll see if she uh, sails quick enough to eat more. Uh, you know what? Quincy, go ahead and start turning start turning into him. Start turning into him. Let's push this a little harder. Um, let's assess the damage. I mean, this, this poor Kuma is just in a horrible, horrible spot. Oh, wouldn't it be glorious? Uh, I don't know. Kick up the speed a little bit. I think she might just go right in front of the target. Got her. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. What a what a fantastic. I mean, that's the most luck we've had with torpedoes. Um, let's uh get our other destroyer back in the fight. I kind of. Gonna start in neglecting her, unfortunately. Uh, this Japanese destroyer is deploying smoke. All right, what is number seven? A destroyer. Number six. Okay, we are going to transition to target number six with our heavies. All right, begin working on a solution there. I mean, we're we're inflicting a world of hurt. Okay, the Kuma is sinking. Good work. Good work. All right, begin engaging number six. Secondaries fire star shells. Fire. And secondaries fire star shells. Um, let's identify her real quick. She may actually eat more torpedoes. So this um, may not be necessary. I can't even, I can't even see the heck this is. There she is. I think she is going to eat a few more fish. Turning right into them. That's unlucky. Let's see what we get. It looks like they're all deploying smoke. I think the Japanese fleet has had enough of this. Looks like she's going to just eat one. That was a dud. That's unfortunate. All right, Sydney, blow this freaking thing out of the water, please. And she's on fire. She does not look good. If we're lucky, some of these other torpedoes may end up hitting. Um, the rest of the fleet. All right, we're turning back in. We're pushing the attack. Let's get our destroyers to move back around. Oh, yeah. I mean, this this may have... There may be some results here. All right, begin engaging her. Um, fire, fire high explosives. Yeah, well, I mean, we're almost out of AP ammo. And fire star shells, please. This has been brutal. I'm digging this. Uh, let's take a look at the report. Heavy damage, moderate, heavy, one sunk. And this is where the game really shines, the tactical battles. Let's use a little bit of time compression, shall we? Oh my eye. This does not look good. All right, let's let's watch this. Looks like this freaking light cruiser, this tiny little Nagara, is gonna block all the torpedoes. I love this uh, interaction with these two. Too bad collisions are not uh, turned on for the AI. That'd be hilarious. 
All right. Got her right in the bow. And uh, st struck by a dud. All right, one hit, one dud. Is this one going to eat a fish? No. Unfortunately not. Still, solid, solid torpedo runs. I don't think our chances of hitting anything else are uh, pretty slim at this point. Uh, but quite a few torpedo hits, two duds. Uh, that, two duds, any more duds here? No, it just looks like it was those two. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that considering our previous launches have been just complete and utter disappointments. All right, well, we are going to push the attack while they are in retreat. Well, this isn't good. Japanese torpedoes are in the water. We didn't even pick them up. Um, checking here. Quincy was just struck by one. Louisville's going to turn. This is what I was worried about. I'm surprised we didn't even see them on the map. It just looks like just one torpedo. Check on Louisville. Okay, torpedoes are racing by. Very lucky. Okay, rudder amidships, rudder amidships. All right, um, so Louisville, Sydney, and Columbia. Form up. Take over. Quincy, damage control. Okay, honestly, not not critical. She just struck. The, we, she was just struck right in the bow. Um, damage, flooding, moderate. Okay. Well, keep on sailing. And keep on engaging. Any serious? Yeah, it looks like uh, one of our directors was damaged, and it's already repaired. We have fires in the bow compartments, but we'll be able to get those under control. Okay. Wow. That was, uh, un you know, I was... I got complacent there. Um, they didn't pop up on the map, which honestly is kind of cool. I like that they didn't pop up on the map. That made it definitely a shock whenever I saw that notification. All right, but damage is minimal. We're good, we're still in the fight. Our warships are now engaging the seaplane tender, which got dangerously close, and she is going to pay the price for that. Oh my gosh, is... Are we gonna get another torpedo hit on Nagara? That would be great. We'll find out here. I mean, this looks uh, possible. Looks possible. Man, we are just doing a world of hurt on this ship, though. So, well, at least sink three, I'm thinking. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these other guys have gotten too far away for us to really effectively uh, attack, uh, which is fine. Uh, we're starting to run pretty low on ammo, but overall, I'd call this a success. Gained quite a few points. I just want another torpedo hit, but I can't say I'm too, uh, I'm too confident in that happening. I mean, this thing's already listing pretty heavily. I think she'll sink here uh, in a matter of minutes. Okay, the enemy seaplane tender is going down. We are now engaging this Fubuki class, which is charging us, probably trying to buy time for its friends who are uh, pretty crippled. And uh, I mean, you can you can just see uh, things are not going too well there. Things are <laughs> things are looking a little rough, unfortunately for them. I think we're gonna keep on chasing at this point. It looks like. Uh, this other seaplane tender is lagging behind a little bit. I think we can catch her and probably finish her off. Um, we are, everyone's engaging this Fubuki just to avoid uh, getting torpedoes launched our way. But uh, yeah, things things are not looking good for her. It is uh, very honorable uh, what this Fubuki is doing though. Uh, trying to buy time for his friends. It won't be enough.
Well, folks, here's the current situation. As you can see, we sunk the Fabuki, of course. We are now engaging this uh, last seaplane tender, uh, which, um, yeah, we're engaging at quite a long range here, 7,000 yards away. We haven't gotten very many consistent hits just yet. Um, however, I decided to go ahead and open up. They did get a hit on Louisville, uh, so... But it's minor, just a small fire. So that's when I decided to open up. <laughs> I think this will be the last ship we are able to sink. I'm not sure we're going to be able to catch these others back here. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, they look okay. But honestly, overall, very happy with the outcome of this engagement. Um, Benham, go ahead and start engaging with high explosive. Same with you. Perfect. All right, this, this thing's... Uh, Days are numbered. I love the little submarine there. Uh, it's a very cool touch. All right. It'd be cool if they were in the game and uh, do damage with ports and stuff. Maybe one day. All right. Well, I'll keep you all updated. I Like I said, I'm sure this thing's... Uh, minutes are numbered. <laughs> well, one of our destroyers just suffered a magazine explosion. Uh, damage is now critical is uh, less than ideal. They got a little too close, unfortunately, as our cruisers go in. I was going to try to set up a torpedo run, but didn't quite work out that way. Um, hopefully she doesn't go down. I think she'll be okay. Yeah, heavy damage, working on fires. She'll get out of here just fine. Uh, our heavies are starting to move in anyway. Really uh, finish this job. This thing is being pretty stubborn. I mean, she has quite a few fires on the inside. It looks like she's also laying smoke, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but uh, we're starting to get more consistent hits at this point. Well, there we have it. The last uh, cruiser we are engaging uh, has been sunk, and it was actually hit by one of our torpedoes, <laughs> which I launched from uh, Cummings here, um, and it happened to be a dud, so that is great. All right, let's retreat, leave combat. 19 command points gained, four enemy ships sunk, and minor damage on a uh, another cruiser. Not, I'm pretty happy with that. Total sunk uh, five. Moderate damage on Quincy and moderate flooding. Benham, heavy damage and heavy flooding. We're definitely going to have to head back anyway to uh, rearm. We are pretty low on ammunition. Okay. Uh, of course, time to uh, time to work our way out of here. Uh, they'll just go this way, I suppose, and uh, head back to the New Hebrides to um, to rearm. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.